let's take a cursory look at the way you should be testing. So always test incrementally. There is a tendency that uh, people end up writing a huge function and then try to write test cases, multiple test cases around it. But uh, as test driven development also suggests that you incrementally build your code and your test case along with it. The reason for this is that multiple functions which have certain complex logic, either while testing itself, you can realize that this is getting out of hand and it needs to be split into two functions or you will realize that there is a certain control flow that ends in the middle of the execution, right? So logically there is an, there is a possible exit point there because of an exception or some condition being triggered, which needs to be handled as well. So it shows you the possibility of execution of your code and that is really helpful while error handling. While evolving your code, you should test the simple parts first because it will help you get into a coherent mode around the code where the simple parts are working, tested, your test cases are in place. Now you have a good gauge of the direction in which your system is heading. So start with simple parts and then evolve into uh, the complicated sections of the code. As you are evolving your code, you need to keep in mind that you have to uh, conserve certain properties of the code, like the ownership, we spoke about in the source management and certain other state elements or the initialization states, the reset states, the cleanup, post cleanup uh, states. So verify the conservation properties of your code and uh, that can be done through a systematic uh, testing because there you can simulate multiple scenarios and ensure that your system is uh, guaranteeing uh, those properties correctly across all these states. Otherwise, uh, you can land up in certain unknown states during production. And as I mentioned, and keep mentioning that uh, it's a nightmare to uh, reverse engineer these kind of situations, reproduce them and solve them. Sometimes you might have multiple independent implementations which you uh, think are possible solutions. So test them independently and compare them. So your test cases can be the common interface against which your implementations work and based on the outcome, you can decide which implementation is doing better. So in this case, your benchmark becomes uh, the test, uh, test harness. So that way you know what is the expected behavior, you write the test cases around it and then you uh, flesh out the two implementations independently and check how they are behaving against that interface and decide which one is uh, worthy of production or uh, which is more extensible and the other properties which we discussed earlier. And based on that, you decide which implementation should be part of your mainstream. So having spoken so much about testing, you need to ensure that uh, to comply with all these things and ensure that you are moving in the right direction, you have to keep measuring your test coverage. There are a lot of uh, tools around all the languages which help you figure out the test coverage. So please do invest in these things upfront. Don't wait till the last moment to start integrating with a test framework. Instead, start from day one with your test framework as a primary responsibility of the developer writing the code. 